Today we're going to take a, a look at uh, something called floats. And so when you're including tables, images, and various other things, it's uh, beneficial to make them their own object that can be referred to throughout the text. So uh, here we're talking about figures and, and, and indeed tables. So um, let's, let's take a look at how we do this. So for example, we'll go figure and then I'm going to use the tilde. The tilde is just to say, okay, include a space later, but don't break a line on this space. And here we use the ref my picture. Um, and I this doesn't exist yet, but I'll explain what this is. It shows a picture. So here in the text, I'm referring to something called um, my picture. And if I were to compile this, so a little error message comes up there, a little notification, and we see these percentage signs. So it does not know what my picture is, okay? So now I'm gonna include a, um, a picture. So as before, I'm gonna upload one from my computer, and I'll choose a picture of a cat. And I'm gonna use the include, uh, oh, sorry, the, so use, package graphics because I'm going to include a picture so that doesn't change everything we're doing here is just putting stuff around what we've what we've seen about how to include pictures and so I'm going to create what's called a figure environment all right so overleaf does a lot of work here um, for us um, and and I'm I'm gonna modify this slightly to use the center environment we talked about uh, before. And then the caption, we can write whatever we want here. This will just be the caption that uh, is displayed. I'm just gonna write a picture. And I'm gonna write the label, and the label is what we have here. So I'm just gonna write my picture under there. And then I'm just going to include cat.jpg um, that we had before. Now, if I if I compile this, we see figure one shows a picture, and the picture is rather large. So what we're going to do is modify that as before. Width equals 0.6 text width, and recompile. And there we go, we have our, our, our picture. Note that the text here is quite far away from the, the picture. And um, we'll talk about that a little bit more towards the end of this uh, video clip, but in general, try not to worry about that. The LaTeX is actually um, using algorithms underneath to place the picture in appropriate space so as to not waste white space. Um, and so it's also a good idea as a result of that to not say in the picture below or um, as so shown above, but to always refer directly to the picture. We can also use a table. Um, so we'll go table, and I'll use the tilde again, um, and then ref, and I'll just write my table, shows a table, so obviously we'd actually be able to use more Im important stuff. I'm gonna use a book tabs table, so I'm gonna pull in the book tabs um, package. And um, then if we go begin table, now remember begin tabular is how we actually draw a table. So begin table is just creating this table environment. And a lot of stuff has come up here. And so as before, I'm gonna modify uh, this. This is just overleaf, um, including some initial setup. And here I'm going to include a very similar table that I had um, before. So we're gonna have a top rule, um, name, gender, start time, and uh, here we're going to have a mid rule, and now we can start actually including our, our, our table. Angelical, male, 
and 11. Angelic, no, Angelic Co. Plan female and 8.30 and then Lisa. I'm allow I'm aligning these uh, these and symbols, but that that's just for aesthetic purposes to help make the later code a bit more readable. And I'm going to have a bottom rule here. So that's my actual table. Then I got the center environment, and now what I'm also going to include is a caption. I see uh, Overleaf had already done that, so I'm going to include a caption, a table, and then um, we're going to label it. And so this label is going to refer to the same word here. So this label is going to be my table. Um, and then it ends the table. Now if I recompile that, we see that we have figure one shows a picture, table one shows a table. Um, actually, I seem to have put a, a line at the end of this table. Let me just take that off. I don't like the look at that too much. Um, but stuff has been, is quite far away. And again, I, I, I recommend not worrying about that and simply referring to things um, properly. But it is possible to, um, nudge LaTeX into ignoring some of the underlying rules it uses. So a set of commands I often include after a begin figure or a begin table are the following. So um, H, which says try to play the float, try to place this float uh, where it is indicated by the code. So try and put it here. Um, try and put it at the top of a page. Uh, try and put it at the bottom of a page try and put it on a page or a column by itself. And then finally, you can include an exclamation mark to ignore a couple of other rules, a few other rules. Um, and that can work for the, the table environment as well. And as we can see, that has recompiled and we see stuff has moved into a, a slightly more appropriate place. But I would still recommend essentially not worrying about it um, and making sure you just always refer to these objects uh, in an absolute fashion as opposed to a relative way where you say as seen below or above in the table um, after the next paragraph. Don't write things like that because at some point you might completely restyle your document, you might move things around and the strength is that you don't need to worry about things like that.